If you build a ship capable of going to Mars, what if you could use that same ship to travel from one place to another on Earth? Starship, undeniably a groundbreaking invention in space exploration, has the potential to revolutionize not just interplanetary travel, but also military logistics. Its cargo capabilities could transform how the military transports equipment, supplies, and personnel across the globe. But why would a private spaceship attract military interest? How would Starship's role differ when used for military cargo purposes? All that and more will be revealed in today's episode. When we think of SpaceX's Starship, we often envision its role in space exploration, taking humanity to Mars and beyond. However, the U.S. military has identified another potential use for this groundbreaking vehicle, Earth-to-Earth -Earth transportation. This concept involves leveraging Starship's incredible speed and capacity to enable ultra-fast travel between distant points on the planet. Upon closer examination, it's a concept that makes a lot of sense. Starship is exceptionally well-suited for this mission. The first factor that makes Starship ideal for Earth-based cargo transport is its unparalleled speed. Designed to reach orbital velocities using its powerful Raptor engines, Starship can achieve speeds unattainable by any aircraft operating within Earth's atmosphere. In the vacuum of space, where air resistance and weather conditions are non-existent, Starship can launch, reach orbital velocity, and then re-enter Earth's atmosphere to land at a distant location. For the military, this capability offers a game-changing advantage allowing for the rapid deployment of high-priority cargo, supplies, or personnel to any location worldwide. This would enable quick responses to emergencies or dynamic operational needs. To illustrate just how fast Starship could be, consider Elon Musk's 2017 presentation at the International Astronautical Congress, where he shared a video titled Starship Earth to Earth. It showcased a hypothetical flight from New York to Shanghai, taking just 36 minutes. In comparison, a commercial airline would take 12 to 14 hours for the same trip. With Starship, most long-distance flights would take under 30 minutes, and any location on Earth would be reachable in under an hour. Speed isn't the only metric that sets Starship apart. Its payload capacity dwarfs that of even the largest cargo planes. Standing at 120 meters tall and 9 meters in diameter, Starship is the most powerful launch vehicle ever built. It can carry 150 metric tons fully reusable and up to 250 metric tons expendable. For comparison, the Boeing 747-400, one of the most widely used cargo planes, can transport a maximum payload of about 113 tons. Starship's massive capacity could enable the transportation of military equipment, vehicles, and supplies in a single trip, including heavy artillery, tanks, or even helicopters. While Starship offers unmatched speed and capacity, there is one important consideration. Cargo destined for space travel must be pressurized to withstand the low-pressure environment of space. Without proper pressurization, the reduced pressure could cause air to expand, leading to potentially catastrophic failures such as bursting containers or even biological hazards for transported personnel. Fortunately, SpaceX has extensive experience managing pressurized environments. During the Polaris mission, SpaceX demonstrated its ability to maintain a safe pressurized cabin, ensuring the safety of astronauts performing spacewalks. This expertise could easily be applied to Starship's design for Earth-to-Earth -Earth transport, ensuring the integrity of both the cargo and crew. Starship's combination of speed, capacity, and SpaceX's engineering expertise positions it as a transformative vehicle for Earth-based logistics. For the U.S. military, it could mean unprecedented agility in responding to crises, supporting operations, or deploying humanitarian aid. While originally envisioned as a spacecraft for interplanetary travel, Starship's versatility opens up incredible possibilities for revolutionizing global transportation. Its ability to reach any destination on Earth in under an hour could redefine not only military logistics, but also commercial shipping and emergency response. The future of Earth-to-Earth -Earth transportation may very well rest on Starship's sleek, stainless steel shoulders. The military interest in Starship is indeed groundbreaking. But what about the cost? One of SpaceX's core design principles is reusability. Starship is designed to be fully reusable, 
including both the spacecraft and its booster, Super Heavy. This feature could make it particularly suitable for Earth-to-Earth -Earth payload transport, enabling frequent flights. Starship's ability to return, land, and be refueled quickly opens the door for multiple high-speed trips between global locations, accommodating both cargo and passenger needs. This reusability significantly reduces travel costs compared to current commercial space vehicles, which often require extensive refurbishment or rebuilding after each flight. Over time, as infrastructure improves, Earth-to-Earth -Earth transport with Starship could become far more affordable. Fuel costs are another critical factor. A single Starship launch currently costs about $900,000 in fuel, which is higher than jet fuel costs. However, the primary reason for this is that SpaceX does not yet produce its own fuel. To address this, Musk, alongside another contributor, committed $100 million to the XPRIZE competition for innovative carbon capture and storage CCS, technologies. With this technology, SpaceX aims to produce liquid oxygen and methane internally by capturing CO2 from the atmosphere. If successful, this approach could drastically lower fuel costs while addressing environmental concerns associated with methane usage in Starship. For those concerned about the high cost of shipping goods via rocket, there's another method specific to Earth-based point-to-point missions that could further reduce expenses. Using only the upper stage of Starship, Elon Musk suggested adding two to four Raptor engines for these missions, enhancing its single-stage-to-orbit capability. This modification would boost cost efficiency and simplify operations, allowing long-range missions of approximately 10,000 kilometers at speeds of Mach 20 while maintaining substantial payload capacity. Additionally, using only the upper stage would significantly reduce noise during takeoff and landing, making operations in urban areas like major cities more feasible. These cost-saving measures make Starship highly competitive compared to existing rockets. While not yet fully operational, and with some uncertainties about exact costs, SpaceX aims to reduce launch expenses to 2 to $3 million per flight. Achieving this goal would make Starship one of the most cost-effective launch vehicles available, particularly for large payloads. Moreover, Starship's potential to outperform other rockets in cost per kilogram to orbit is significant for high-capacity and frequent missions. This vehicle could redefine what is achievable in both space exploration and terrestrial logistics. With its groundbreaking combination of speed, reusability, and cost efficiency, it's no surprise that the U.S. military is highly interested in SpaceX's Starship. The Department of the Air Force is actively exploring the use of rocket cargo transportation for Department of Defense Logistics, aligning with commercial advancements. The Air Force Research Laboratory, AFRL, is evaluating emerging rocket technologies from various vendors to assess their feasibility for rapid global material transport. In 2022, AFRL awarded SpaceX a five-year, $102 million contract to collect flight data from Starship to demonstrate technologies for point-to-point -point cargo and humanitarian aid transportation. According to AFRL, logistic speed is at the heart of military supremacy. The organization recognizes that if a commercial company like SpaceX is advancing capabilities to move materials faster, the DoD must engage early and explore adoption opportunities. This motivation underpins the Rocket Cargo Program, a forward-thinking initiative aimed at leveraging Starship's unique attributes for military logistics. Gary Henry, Senior Advisor for National Security Space Solutions at SpaceX, discussed this interest during the 2024 Space Mobility Conference in Orlando, Florida. He highlighted specific use cases where the DoD might require Starship's capabilities. It really came down to specific missions where it's a very specific and sometimes elevated risk or maybe a dangerous use case for the DoD. Henry noted that the DoD has considered whether such missions necessitate owning a similar asset or if SpaceX could accommodate their needs. The Space Force has also been closely monitoring Starship's progress. Notably, General Chance Saltzman, Chief of Space Operations, was present at Starbase, Texas, to observe the sixth flight of Starship. This demonstrates a high level of interest and engagement at the leadership level. Lieutenant General Philip Garant, Commander of Space Systems Command, has also spoken about Starship's potential in a roundtable with the Defense Writers Group. He remarked, We are thinking about how we might use it. 
the first most logical